Twilight Gets a Puppy By TDR Chapter 84 Stare at Master He Has Food Part 1 One week later Soft cloud Quiet cloud Comfy pile of fluff Happy dashy Sleepy dashy ZZZ 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 Rainbow Dash snored softly as her nap cloud drifted slowly over Ponyville. Every pony who would bother her, mostly Pinky, was at work and she was too high up for any pony to shout loud enough to wake her, save maybe the princesses. The chill of the air was offset by the warm sun and the edges of the cloud were fluffed up enough to act as a windbreaker, it wouldn't be too much longer before it would be too cold to nap outside and Dash was more than willing to take advantage of every chance she got. Hi Rainbow Dash! Spike said with a little wave. Rainbow Dash opened one eye looking around wondering if she had heard someone. Seeing no one in the sky with her she closed her eye again and wiggled deeper into the sun-warmed cloud. Howdy Rainbow Dash! Apple Bloom greeted the Pegasus. Both eyes opened this time as her ears flattened against her head. She swore she heard some pony. It sounded like Apple Bloom in fact. Still seeing nothing she frowned, fluffing the cloud a little more before nuzzling back into it. Hi Rainbow! Sweetie Belle squeaked. Rainbow Dash's eyes both shot open again as she lifted her head looking around, she knew she heard Sweetie Belle that time. She heard a great deal of giggling below her right before there was a grunt of exertion. Leaning over the edge of her cloud to see what was happening she was greeted by an orange furred form that slammed into her face and latched onto her head. Hi Rainbow Dash! Scootaloo squeed as her limbs locked around her idol's head. Rainbow Dash of course reacted as one would expect a pony who had just woken up and suddenly found their heads locked in a clingy death grip from an unknown assailant. Rainbow Dash screamed taking off into the air and flying around like a drunken moth trying to dislodge the little orange face hugger who was loving the fact she was flying with her idol and was clinging even tighter to Dash's head. Oops. Well, she's awake. I guess as soon as she calms down we can tell her Twilight wanted to see her. Spike sighed as he watched Rainbow Dash dart around like a madmare in the sky crashing through a few trees with Scootaloo latched to her face. Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle watched on with interest as Ross rubbed the back of his head in a bit of embarrassment as Rainbow Dash crashed into a few market stalls. Then through a window of a house, coming out the other side wearing a wedding dress with Scootaloo wearing a old nightmare night costume of some sort of space alien. Woof. Ross questioned. Yeah maybe throwing us up there to wake her up wasn't your best idea. Spike winced as the pair slammed into someone's garden losing the costumes but getting covered in smashed tomatoes. It was fun though. Sweetie Belle giggled. Yeah, even if it didn't get us a alarm clock cutie mark. Apple Bloom added. The pair of Pegasi finally managed to dive down a well with a loud splash. Ross and the CMC plus Spike rushed over looking down the well a moment only hearing silence. There was suddenly a loud splash and Scootaloo surfaced with a hoop. Again, the orange filly yelled as Rainbow Dash surfaced behind her glaring up at Ross who offered a sheepish grin in return. Author's Note And here we go, this is the start of an episode I've wanted to write for a while. Also may the fourth be with you. End Author's Note End Chapter 84 Stare at Master He Has Food Part 1